Welcome to the warm up for the level one exercise program. We're going to start with the feet slightly apart, a gentle bend of the knees, pull up through the spine. Imagine you have a piece of string pulling you towards the ceiling, so you're nice and tall. Take the shoulders forward, up, back, gently down. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, pull your tummy tightly into your backbone. Pull it in, pull it in. Keep breathing all the time. And now release by 50%. Keep this good posture the whole way through the exercise program. And we're going to start with a gentle march. Pull up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. And we're going to start with a toe tap. So gently bending the supporting leg, tapping the toe onto the floor in front of you. And back to the march. Keep good and tall, relaxing the shoulders. And now we're going to do the heel dig. So just gently touching the floor in front of you with the heel of the foot. And back to the march. Each time you march, check your posture, the shoulders relax, tummy tight. We're now going to do a knee raise, but if you're a bit wobbly, just touch the floor in front. Or if you're feeling good, raise the knee ever so slightly. And it's back to the march again. The leg's now going to the side. So a gentle tap, not taking the leg too far, and the weight's firmly on the supporting leg. And march. Now the leg's going behind, keeping the heel high. Just tapping with the toe. And it's a march. Now we're going to loosen up the spine to take the feet slightly apart, wiggle the toes nice and tall. Down you slide. Take care not to go too far. It's a nice, gentle movement. That's the last one. It's the march. The spine works in two directions, so we're going to now do the other movement. Take the feet slightly apart, wiggle the toes, hands across the chest to the right. One more each side. Well done. And march on the spot. We're now going up to gear two. So bend supporting leg. Keep nice and tall. And as we're in gear two, you might like to put a little bit of arm movement in, nice and gently, taking the arms forward and back to the march. And now back to the toe tap, a little bend of the knee, nice and tall, keeping it controlled. And you might feel like putting a little arm swing in now. And a march on the spot. We're going to take the knee up, but again, if you feel a bit wobbly, then just do a toe tap. The choice is yours. Here we go. Or toe tap. You can see that Caroline's using that chair for support so that she can do the knee lift nice and stably. And back to the march. 
The leg is now going to the side. Caroline's changed position, so she's more secure with the chair. And we're putting just a little arm movement in, if you're freestanding, just so it's a, a little harder work. And back to the march. Nice and tall, breathing easily, dropping the shoulders. And the leg goes to the back. And you might like to put a gentle arm swing in. And back to the march. Now taking the feet slightly apart, wiggling the toes, we're thinking of the spine again, nice and tall. Here we go. The tummy's good and tight. And back to the march. And again, while you're marching, check that posture. Relax the shoulders. Feet slightly apart again. Wiggle those toes. Hands cross the chest. To the right. Back to the middle. Going as far as is comfortable for you. And back to the march. We're now going up to gear three. So it's a little bit more vigorous, but remember you're in control. If you start to feel this is hard work or your muscles are aching, then just go back to a more gentle movement. So bending the el elbow slightly, tummy pulled in tightly and round you go. Breathing all the time. And back the other way, bending the elbow, take the elbow forward, feel the shoulder moving. And now we're going back the other way. If you feel this is uncomfortable, then just go back to the shoulder roll. Back to the march. Now we're in gear three, the legs come up slightly higher and the arms move with more vigor. Back to the heel dig. As we're in gear three, arms come a little higher. But again, you're in charge. If you think you're starting to get a bit um, achy or puffy, bring the arms back down. Your choice. And back to the march. Excellent work. It's a toe tap now. Bend the leg because we're in gear three, a little deeper, and add in some arms. Well done. Back to the march. Check that posture, shoulders down, tummy tight, because it's a knee lift now. Here we go. The knee comes no higher the arms move with more vigor. But remember, if you're wobbly, keep that toe tap going. And it's back to the march. Good swing of the arms, nice and tall. The leg is now going to the side. Here we go. Bend the supporting leg a little deeper. And we're in gear three. So let's bring in those nice big arms. Well done. Okay, back to the march. Are you feeling warm? Are you feeling ready for action? The leg is now going to the back. Here we go. As we're in gear three, take the leg a little further back and let's bring in the arms. Brilliant work. Okay, back to the march. Right, taking the revs out of the march because we're now going into the stretches. Right, tummy pulled in nice and tightly. Bring the arms around. Imagine you're hugging that big person and look down at them. And you should feel a gentle tension at the top of the back. Release that stretch. 
keeping the legs going, we're going to take the right hand and put it onto the right shoulder, slide it down the back, and with the left hand, just support it. If you have discomfort in the arm, the neck or the shoulder, take the arm across the body rather than down the back. And gently release. Now place the left hand on the left shoulder, gently slide it down, again, going only as far as is comfortable for you. But of course, if you feel uncomfortable, take the arm across the body and feel the tension underneath the arm. Gently release that stretch, relax the shoulders, keep nice and tall, tummy tight. Place the hands on the small of the back, or if you're more comfortable, place the hands on the uh, temples and draw the elbows back. So you're stretching the chest muscles. Gently release that stretch. We're now toe tapping behind. Keeping the heel high, not taking a too big a step backwards. Take the right leg back, gently ease the heel into the floor. Both toes are po pointing forward. Imagine you're on skis. Now feel the tension in the calf muscle, but you're wiggling the toes at the same time. And back to the march. Gentle swing of the arms as you're taking the foot back again. Heel high, not too far back with the step. Take the left leg back, gently ease the heel into the floor. Take the weight forward, toes are forward as if you're on skis and feel the tension in the calf muscle, a gentle tension. And back to the march. Take the feet slightly apart, about hip distance, and bend as if you're sitting on a stool. Take the right leg forward, squeeze the tummy in tightly to support the back, with the hands at the top of the thighs, gently bend forward, looking at the floor in front of you and not at me. Feel the tension between the knee and the hip of the straight leg. You'll notice the foot is relaxed. And slowly up, march on the spot. Well done. Now we're going to do the other leg. Okay, a little heel dig in front. The feet come underneath the hips, hip distance apart, bend the knees, pull the tummy in to support the back, Take the left leg forward, hands at the top of the thighs to support you. Squeeze your tummy as you bend forward and looking at the floor in front of you. And you should feel the stretch between the knee and the hip on the straight leg. And nice and slowly back up. Well done. It's the march. We're now going to do the front of thigh stretch, which involves standing on one leg. So I strongly advise that you find some support and Caroline is going to demonstrate the stretch. So with the feet hip distance apart, holding onto the chair or the wall firmly for support, hold the shoelaces or the tracksuit bottom if that's uncomfortable and you will feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. Well done Caroline. Releasing that stretch, we're now going to do the other leg. So feet slightly apart, holding the top of the shoelaces or the tracksuit bottom if that's not comfortable. And again, knees in a straight line and it's the front of the thigh that's having that stretch. And release the stretch. We're now going to do the conditioning component of the level one and the assisted standing exercise program. We're starting with a rewarm to bring our heart rate up to the level that's required for the conditioning component. So swing in the arms, back, nice and straight, tummy pulled in, and the knees are coming quite high. So starting, with the first exercise, which is taking the leg to the side. So bending the supporting leg gently. Once you feel that's comfortable, you can bring in the arms. 
You'll notice that my arms are quite low, not going too high, but if at any time you feel that this is excessive, that you're beginning to feel tired, uncomfortable, or overly puffy, if you feel it's hard, then just don't use the arms at all. Check that the leg isn't going out too far and you're comfortable at the level it's going. How's that, Caroline? Yeah, this feels fine, thank you. Yeah, is that helping the chair, supporting Definitely, you? makes a big difference. Yeah, smashing. Well done, let's go back to the march. The back straight, tummy pulled in, and we're now going on to an active recovery. You'll notice Caroline sitting down to do this exercise, and you can use weights if you feel comfortable with that, or you can do the exercise without weights. It's your choice, your preference. So palms facing up, elbows into the body, shoulders down and relaxed, and you're slowly raising the hands towards the shoulders, and then gently back down again. If you are using weights, just take care that you're not grasping the bottles too tightly, that the hands are relaxed. Here you're using the front of the arms and check the shoulders are relaxed and down and comfortable. the marching is getting a bit tiring just walk through the feet it's far more comfortable well done and back to the march gently swing in the arms check your posture and relax the shoulders Our next exercise is the hamstring curl. So if you're holding onto your chair, go to the back of it like I am, or if you're fine standing alone, follow Leslie. So taking the feet hip distance apart, just lift the um, heel to the hip and gently sway. So full weight onto the support leg and a nice comfortable flick behind. When you feel ready, you can add in a small arm if you wish. If you'd rather just concentrate on the legs so you can get a better range of movement, don't worry about the arms. How are you doing at home? Are you breathing all right? Do you feel your heart rate's elevated slightly? Well done. And we're back to our march. Our next exercise is the wall press up. So Leslie's gonna talk this through while I demonstrate. First of all, find a nice sturdy wall, place your hands against the wall, about shoulder distance apart, with the fingers facing towards the ceiling. Take one small step away from the wall and gradually lower your nose towards the wall and away with the weight on the arms and shoulders. You would need to do between 12 and 15 repetitions within the minute. If it's more than that, you're working too fast. If it's less than that, you're possibly working too slowly. You'll notice that while Caroline's feet are flat on the floor, as she goes forward, they do raise a little. That's perfectly okay. If you find the exercise too easy, then take a bigger step away from the wall and that will make the exercise harder. However, if you find the exercise hard, 
Then take a step nearer to the walls and that will make it easier. How's that feeling, Caroline? That feels really good, thank you, Leslie. I definitely know I'm working. Right, back to the march now, well done. Checking your posture as you're marching, we're now going into the knee raise. For this exercise, you'll be standing on one leg. So if you feel a little unstable, you can do as Caroline's doing, holding onto a chair or find a good supporting wall. Here we go. It's up. You'll notice that I'm not raising my leg too high, but the heart is working harder because I'm moving the arms. If you do feel a bit wobbly, it's perfectly okay to keep the arms going and to tap the floor in front of you. Keep nice and tall, breathing easily and relax those shoulders. Remember the toe tap if you're feeling that's a bit wobbly. Keep going, you're doing well. And we're going back to the march. We're now doing another active recovery, an exercise for the shoulders. If you would like weights, then pick up your weights now, but it's perfectly okay to just use free movement. So the hands are in front of the body, the tummy's pulled in, the shoulders down and relaxed and we're slowly taking the arms to the side, up to shoulder level, and back down. And slowly up to the side, and gently down. Taking care not to go above the shoulders. If you feel with the marching, the legs are getting a little achy, then it's perfectly okay just to walk through the feet. You'll be doing about 12 to 15 repetitions of this exercise in the minute. Are you breathing? Take care not to hold your breath. If you feel that this is quite challenging, you can bend the elbow slightly and that shortens the lever length and makes the exercise slightly easier. Well done, good work. Let's go back to that march. Our next exercise is the backward lunge. So holding onto your chair, or if you like, Leslie, freestanding, just take your feet hip distance apart and we're tapping behind with the ball of the foot and the toes. The heel stays well away from the floor. So once you've got a nice rhythm going through the legs, Add in an arm if you wish. If you feel you'd rather just concentrate on the legs and have a slightly more dynamic movement, that's absolutely fine. If you've been asked to record your RPE or check your heart rate, you'll be asked to do so in a moment. and we're back to our march. Please record your RPE and your heart rate if you've been asked to do so by your cardiac rehab team. Please do keep your feet marching while you do this. Our next exercise is the upright row. I'm gonna head into my chair. So pulling up nice and tall, let's have a posture check. Hands come in front of the body and you're just going to raise the hands between chin and chest. Let the elbows lead the way. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed and down as you do this. Also remember to keep breathing while you're exercising. Once again with these exercises, you should be able to complete between 12 and 15 repetitions within the minute. Any more and you're just going a little bit too fast. How does that feel for you, Leslie? 
Yeah, that's good, yeah. It's comfortable. And I'm trying to remember not to make fists with my hands, just keeping my hands nice and relaxed. How are you doing at home? Can you feel your shoulders working? Yes, definitely. Smashing. Well done, that's your last one. So pop your weights down, keep those feet moving. We're now on to the next exercise. So swing in the arms, tummy nice and tight, and it's a really dynamic march. Bringing the knees up. Just check your tummy's good and tight and the shoulders relaxed, and you're breathing. If this starts to get a bit tiresome, then just take the legs down, take the arms down. How are you doing with that chair, Caroline? Is that comfy? It makes a big difference, thank you, Leslie. Yeah, I can work through my legs really dynamically, really well. Pull up nice and tall. Think soldier. Excellent work, well done. Take it down to a little march, a smaller march. We're now going to work the chest. And again, if you feel that the legs are heavy and aching, just walk through the feet rather than the big march. Caroline's going to do the same exercise in the chair. Bring the arms up to shoulder height, bend at the elbow, relax the hands and squeeze and release. Squeeze. Imagine you have a balloon between your elbows and you're trying to pop it. It's a great time while you're doing this to check that your tummy's pulled in and you're standing nice and tall and the chin's tucked in. Have you popped your balloon yet? Not quite, Leslie, I'm working on it. How's that feeling at home? Excellent work. Take it back to a march. Pull tall, swing in the arms. Well done. Our next exercise is our tap to the side and we'll be adding in the arm movement as well. So here we go, we're tapping out and in. So get a nice rhythmical movement through the legs. Once you feel happy with that, if you're feeling nice and stable with the chair, you could try adding in an arm movement. If you find that a bit awkward, just concentrate on a slightly bigger movement through the legs. Leslie's able to do arms and legs together. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels good, thanks, Caroline. I'm just taking care not to take my leg too far. I'm keeping it nice and narrow because that's more comfortable for me. And it feels that I'm working at the right level. If it becomes hard, I think I'll probably take the arms out so until it's more comfortable at the right level I need to be working. How are you doing at home? Well done, we're there, back to your march. So check that posture. We're on to our bicep curl action now. So if you feel you're able to use some weights, please do so. I'd prefer to be seated for this, but Leslie's gonna use weights in standing. So check that posture, pull up tall, tummy's nice and tight. And we're just slowly lifting the weights up to shoulder height and then returning them back down. Please remember to breathe. Are you breathing, Leslie? 
Yes, I thought this time I'd try with some weights. So I've added a bit of resistance with my bottles of rice. Again, within the minute, we should be aiming to complete between 12 and 15 repetitions. So just work through a comfortable range of movement for you. How does that feel at home? Can you still talk to us? Doing really well. Excellent work, that's your last one. And we're going back to our march. You're doing excellent work. We're now going on to the hamstring curl. So feet slightly apart and draw the heel towards your bottom. You should feel the back of the legs working. As you sway, keep your weight central and tummy pulled in. When you're happy with that movement, then bring in some arms. So if it's hard, bring the arms down. If it's light, bring in the arms. Excellent. Okay, take it back to the march. Well done. We're now on to that wall press up again. So returning to the wall, that good sturdy wall, hands slightly apart, shoulder distance, fingers pointing towards the ceiling and take a small step away from the wall. Pull the tummy muscles in good and tight, then slowly lower yourself towards the wall and back again. You'll notice that Caroline's feet are mostly flat on the floor, but as she's going forward, her heels are raising slightly. That's perfectly okay. Caroline's aiming to do between 12 and 15 reps. Remember, any more and it's too fast. How's that feeling, Caroline? Yeah, that feels fine, Leslie, thank you. Can you feel your arms working? I can definitely feel that I'm working well, yes. And I know I keep on, but are you breathing? <laughs> yes, still breathing. In as I lower and out as I push away. Excellent work. Good work. We're back to that march. Our next exercise is the knee raise. So I'm just gonna to come to the side of the chair and we're just picking up the knee, no higher than hip height. Can I add in a slight little bend on the support leg if you wish? And if you feel you're able, bring in a slight arm movement. So keep that posture good, keep those tummy muscles nice and tight. Pulling up from the very top of the head. Do you know, Caroline, I'm feeling a bit tired, so I'm going to take it back to that toe tap, but I'm still moving my arms, yeah? Yep, that's great. And back to your march. If you've been asked to record your heart rate or your RPE, please do so now. And we're on to our next exercise, which is the lateral raise. So if you wish to pick up your weights, please do so. Keep those feet moving. So standing nice and tall, just slowly raising the weights out to the side, up to shoulder height, and then slowly lowering down. Keep that posture good throughout and keep breathing. How are you feeling at home? You're doing really well. How do you feel with this exercise, Leslie? 
Well, this time I've been a bit more challenging and added some bottles with some weight. I'm enjoying it actually, good. It feels very comfortable. If you find that your shoulders do start to tire, it is perfectly fine to finish the repetitions without any weight at all, or just shorten the lever as we did before. Well done. Drop the weights down, and we're back. Right, taking up the mart is a cardiovascular one. Tummy nice and tight, taking the leg back. Remember, Try not to step too far back, keep it well controlled so you feel balanced and secure. When you feel comfortable with the legs and you feel perhaps you could work a little harder, then bring in some arms. If at any time you think, well actually this exercise is getting a bit hard, then lose the arms, hold on and just work with the legs. Your choice. How's that with the chair, Caroline? Yep, I'm just concentrating on the legs. I feel that I'm working at the right level for me. Adding in the arms just takes it that little bit too hard. Excellent work. Let's take it back to that march. We're now going to do an act of recovery. So if you're using weights, take your weights up now. Relax the shoulders, pulling the tummy nice and tight, chin in, here we go again. And slowly up. Coming to chest height each time, leading with the elbows. And while you're doing these active recoveries, it's a really good idea to check your posture. Pull that tummy in tightly. And again, if you feel that you'd like to, you can just walk through the feet rather than march. Is that comfy in the chair, Caroline? It's fine in the chair, thank you, yeah. yeah. Right, we're now back to that march, well done. And we're on to our next exercise, which is our march. So just pick those knees up a little bit higher, swing those arms, and smile. Are you breathing? This is Leslie's favorite exercise, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I was in the forces in my previous life. So keep that posture good, pulling up tall. How's your breathing doing on this one? Oh, I feel I've gone a bit energetic. So I've taken down the arms and I'm just really working the legs more. And bring the pace down. Keep those feet moving, we're back to our marching on the spot. Our next exercise is for the chest. So again, just going to sit down for this one. Leslie and I are doing exactly the same movement here. So keep those feet moving, arms up high, making a right angle at the elbow, and then we're squeezing those elbows together and controlling the return. Check your posture's good, pulling up tall, and breathe. Are you smiling at home? We're nearly done. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really well. Working to a comfortable range. So squeeze, control that return. Well done. And relax those arms down, keep those feet marching. We're gonna move into the cool down section. So I'm gonna return to standing. 
Check that posture, keep those feet moving. You've done really well. Excellent work. We're now going into the cool down section where we bring the heart slowly down to its pre-exercise state. So starting with nice big moves, like we did at the end of the warm up, we're starting with the heel dig. Here we go. Starting with a nice deep bend and bringing in those arms. At this stage, you might feel a bit weary. So you can, it's quite okay to bring the arms down to a lower level if you're feeling uncomfortable. And back to the march. Swing in the arms. Remember, we're in gear three, so keep that energy up. Now it's a toe tap. Bend the supporting leg, nice and tall. Add those arms. But remember, it's perfectly okay to bring the arms down if you're tired. And a march. The knee raise, tummy pulled in tightly, good posture, here we go, it's up. We're still using the arms in gear three, but it's okay if you feel tired and your balance is going just to tap the floor in front, but keep those arms going. Back to the march. The leg is now going to the side, Remember, gear three, so we're still nice big movements. And establish the leg movements and then bring in the arms. Excellent work. March on the spot. The leg is now going to the back. A small step behind with the heel away from the floor. It's so tap. Once the legs are going, those big gear three arms. And it's the march. We're now going down to gear two, so take the oomph out of the march, and it's a toe tap. Here we go. A smaller bend of the leg, and a small movement of the arm. the march back to the heel dig but again you're in charge if you think you're starting to get a bit um, achy or puffy bring the arms back down your choice and back to the march it's a knee raise tummy pulled in tightly shoulders down and relaxed up comes the knee. The knee is not quite as high and the movement with the arms isn't so aggressive. Good work, well done. And back to the march. We're taking the leg to the side, toe tap, the leg isn't going too far before the arms join them. And march. Gentle swing of the arms, pulling tall as the leg goes backwards. Here we go. And toe tap. Not too far behind, the heel stays high. And we bring in the arms nice and low. Right, it's the march. Now we're in gear one. So a gentle heel tap to the front. No movement of the arms. And you should feel that you're returning to your pre-exercise state. How you felt before you did all that hard work. And march on the spot. Toe tap, nice and tall, shoulders down and relaxed, breathing easily. Back to the march, 
pulling tall. It's now the knee raise, or if you prefer, the tap in front. Arms are still and relaxed, and the legs are just doing a little amount of work. and march and you can just walk through the feet at this stage if you feel that that's comfortable for you the leg is now going to the side here we go you'll notice I'm hardly taking the foot out at all and the arms aren't moving excellent march on the spot The leg is now going to the back, gently does it, toe tap, heel high, and it's just taking it a few inches behind you. Excellent, well done, marching. So just walking through the feet, we're now going into our stretches. Bring the arms around, separate the shoulder blades, Hugging that big person and look down at them. And you should feel that gentle tension across the top of the back. Release that stretch. Our heart rate has now returned to its pre-exercise state so the feet can now stop moving. The feet are slightly apart, the tummy nice and tight. Place the right hand on the right shoulder slide it down, go as far as is comfortable for you. Hold the arm with your left. If that's uncomfortable, then take the arm across the uh, chest. You should feel the tension between the elbow and the shoulder. Release that stretch. Now place the left hand on the left shoulder, slide it down the back and support it with the right hand, again, as far as is comfortable for you. And of course, you can take the arm across if that's more comfortable and feeling the stretch between the shoulder and the elbow. Release that stretch. We're now going to stretch the chest muscles. Place the hands in the small of the back. Caroline will place her hands onto her temple. Take the elbows gently together so you can feel a gentle stretch across the chest muscles. And release that stretch. With the feet facing forward as if you're on skis or tram lines, take the right leg back, ease the heel into the floor, take the weight forward onto the left leg, you should feel a gentle stretch in the calf muscle. Caroline's doing the same stretch in the chair in a more comfortable and stable position. Release that stretch. Toes facing forward, again as if you're on skis. Take the left leg back, ease the toe down. Just check the back toe is facing forward and feel the tension in the calf muscle. If you need to, just take the weight onto the right leg a little more to increase the stretch in the calf muscle. and release that. We're now going to do the back of the upper leg. With the feet hip distance apart, bend the knees, take the right leg forward, squeeze the tummy muscles in tightly, hands at the top of the thighs, bend forward with the eyes looking down at the floor, the foot's relaxed, and you should feel the stretch between the knee and the hip of the straight leg. slowly back into a standing position. Now we need to do the other leg. So again, with the feet hip distance apart, bend the knees, take the left leg forward, squeeze your tummy in tightly, hands at the top of the thighs, with the eyes looking down towards the floor, bend forward and feel the stretch again between the knee and the hip of the straight leg. Slowly back into a standing position. The next stretch is the front of thigh, which involves standing on one leg. 
So please hold on to a wall or a chair and Caroline's going to demonstrate how to do that stretch with support. Holding on to something stable, bring the outside leg up, hold the shoelaces or the tracksuit, your trouser bottom and the knees are together. Feel the stretch, feel the tension in the front of the thigh. Gently release that stretch, well done. And now we're going to do the other leg. So swapping sides, again, holding on for support, draw up the foot towards the hand, holding onto the shoelaces, or the trouser, the tracksuit bottom. And again, you should feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. And gently release that. Well done, everybody. That's the end of the level one, the assisted standing exercise program, and you worked extremely well.